Yeah, I can tell you the reaction was not very good, Carolyn, especially here in Corktown. Beck compared Detroit to a failed city, and nowhere did he ever mention the resurgence of Detroit or of the big three. Bad policies and union deals helped rot this city from the core. It may not surprise you to hear Glenn Beck is not a big fan of the Motor City, but did he take his political agenda too far Monday night when he compared Detroit to Hiroshima? One city embraced the free market system and the entrepreneurial spirit. The other embraced progressive policies and corrupt government and unions and companies that weren't allowed to fail and they should have failed because they stunk on ice. But is Beck ignoring Motown's revitalization? In Corktown, residents say yes. That guy's crazy. Beck's rant won him no friends here. I absolutely think it was a cheap shot. Um, for one thing, it was the U.S. that helped to, to fund, to rebuild Japan after the war. That was really a cheap shot. Uh, anybody that has really looked at, you know, war, Hiroshima, and this and that, you, you can't compare it. You're talking about uh, uh, Hiroshima, which is, you know, geographically, there's nowhere really else around to, re they had to rebuild. I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's not any place that the people can go. Sure, Beck has a right to his opinions, but did he have all the facts? Oh, you can blame Ford and GM. It, they're bad corporate policies. And those policies, because of the progressives, weren't allowed to reset. Nobody allowed them to fail. Only Ford never took a government rescue package, and it was Republican President George Bush who doled out the first round of bailout money to the autos and the banks. I'm sure Glenn Beck can expect a lot of friendly emails from Detroiters tomorrow.